Meet Hagrid. He's about to pick any meal that he wants. We just broke him out of his shelter and the first thing we're gonna do is go to a local restaurant that I know has delicious food. And a big thanks to Furbo Dog Camera for sponsoring this video. I can't wait to tell you about their all new Furbo 360 coming up soon. It's here. First, we have the local mobile. Now, this is a local favorite, one of my favorites too. We've got two over easy eggs under that. Check this out. A delicious premium beef patty and some brown rice. Now, we also have gravy. That's a tradition. Unfortunately, that has onions in it, so we gotta, we gotta separate that because we can't have onions. Then, we have fried chicken and waffles. Get this, they even put bacon on the top for him. We're gonna pour the syrup on there. We're gonna let him choose whichever one he wants. He can only smell it with one side of his face because the other side of his face doesn't work. He had that stroke. Because of Hagrid's stroke situation, his eyes are affected. Definitely has facial nerve paralysis. One half of his face he can't feel, he can't move, he can't blink that eye. He's got one nostril working still. <laughs> and he can smell it. I'm in my home state of Hawaii right now. And when I'm here, I really love to give back. And one fun way to do that is just going and buying dog toys, whether it's one or as many as you can buy, and taking them to the shelter. It's something they often need. While I was there, I met this dog, Hagrid. Immediately fell in love with him. And I got some really sad news that he wasn't gonna make it for very long. He's been through a lot. He's was abandoned when he came in. He had really long nails. He is in really bad shape. And so I immediately asked if I could take him on a dog's day out. With Hagrid, I just want to show him some love in his final days. Now the vet team doesn't know how long he has, but one thing that's awesome and that I love about the Maui Humane Society is they're treating him like family. So much so that the CEO even took him into his own home. He gets a little confused at times. He's an old guy, right. but uh, he does pretty good. He was a lot of fun to have. He just kind of settled in. By, by Sunday, he was laying in the living room with my guys. What's Hagrid's favorite thing? <laughs> Food. <laughs> Our dogs understand the term cookie, uh, and, and he figured that, that out real quick. Okay, okay, uh, so we should try to find him some cookies. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Now that we know more of what Hagrid loves, I wanted to get him something special, a bow tie for his big day. Now, it's time to let him pick his meal. Which one? Loco Loco Moco! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he loves the local moco. And you know what, buddy? You can have them both. Today's your special day. Oh, it's so messy. Good job, buddy. He's looking for more beef. Next up. The beach. After that, dessert. I mean, we. this day only gets better from here. Only gets better, buddy. Let's go. Okay, we got a little soft spot right here, bud. And one, two, three. Okay, good boy. We're going to the spot right now that has some really good shade and some nice green grass before we take him and let him jump in the ocean. The Maui Humane Society has some amazing dogs. There are a few that I wanna highlight that are actually available for adoption. Like Colson right here. I am pretty sure he's a full breed English pointer. People would pay a lot of money for this kind of dog because he is smart and energetic. So if you want a dog that is highly trainable that you can exercise with, that's him. Or how about this staff favorite right here, Dwight. He is such a love bug. He was even in a foster home and did a fantastic job there. He's just waiting for his perfect forever home. Make sure you spread the word about these dogs that are available for adoption because the Maui Humane Society has a program called Wings of Aloha so they can often get dogs to the mainland if you're interested in adopting. Hold on, I'm gonna cut in here because I'm gonna cover the adoption fee for both of these dogs in honor of Hagrid. You know, I've teamed up with Furbo Dog Camera. It's something I use in my home. I'm gonna tell you all about it. I really love sharing about their Furbo for Good Fun. And what's great about the Furbo for Good Fun is their belief that every dog deserves a loving home. In partnerships with shelters across the globe, every time a Furbo Dog Camera is purchased, it helps with dog food, healthcare, and training. They're making a big difference in pets' lives around the world. And if you've watched my channel, you've seen this firsthand. I mean, I mean, we actually built a tiny house 
four homeless dogs so they could stay there. And that wouldn't have been possible without Furbo. And I gotta tell you, we just made a major upgrade in our home. I'm in my studio right now. And when I'm in my studio, I wanna be able to see what's going on with my dogs in the house or get alerts if something's going wrong. Well, I can do that now with our new Furbo 360 that allows us to ensure the safety of our permanent dogs and our foster pups like Winston with a new angle rotational 360 view and color night vision. No more blind spots, so no more worries. Whether you have one dog or you're like me and you have multiple dogs, upgrading to the Furbo 360 is a big help. Here, you see me giving a lot of treats to the dog, but I'm doing that through encouraging them with good behavior. I'm asking Kobe to sit, and when he does that, I toss him a treat. And you can choose between small treats or large treats depending on your dog's dietary needs. When the dogs are home alone in the house, they should be calm and relaxed. If they're not, I want to know about it. And that's why I love the alerts. Whether they're barking or running, I get notified. And I can check in. Sometimes it's no big deal. Flip's a goofy dog and sometimes he just gets the zoomies. And that's okay. The Furbo 360 dog camera even has auto tracking, real-time two-way audio, and full 1080p HD vision with four times zoom. And here's the best part. Get 20% off the new Furbo 360 plus 10% off when you use code Rocky. I'll put the link in the description. Go click it right now, or just go to Furbo.com slash Rocky dash Furbo 360. We couldn't do all of this, help all of these animals without awesome sponsors. So thank you Furbo for sponsoring this video. We've had time to relax. We've had time to explore. Our bellies are full. Now it's time to go check out the ocean. It might be his first time ever. Let's go check it out. Oh, the sand is so soft. That makes me so happy. And it's still early enough where the sand's not hot. So he can take his time, roam around. Come on, buddy. He's no young buck, so he's not like jumping in the ocean. But if you could see his face, he's so happy. Look at this. Look at this face. Oh, good boy. Just that soft sand on his paws and that wind blowing in his hair. He just loves it. But we're not even done yet. We gotta go get dessert. Let's go get dessert, buddy. Come on. Come on. I love Hagrid's face because it's crooked and totally crazy. <laughs> and uh, I've never seen a dog that makes that much of a mess when they eat. This is Hagrid, and he has come for cookies, which by the way are his favorite thing. Awesome, he's in the right place. Okay, what do you have for him? We have our freshly baked um, Maui dog treats. They have oh. organic peanut butter. Oh. Yeah, oh, that's good, huh? Oh yeah, oh, that's good. Come up some peanut butter cookies. We're even gonna do sprinkle cookies. We're gonna do human stuff, because today is his dog's day out. He can have whatever he wants. Whatever you want, buddy, what do you want? Well, not chocolate. Thank you so much. Okay, aloha. Okay, come on, let's go. We got your cookies. Let's do this. <laughs> His paws, they look like bear paws and he just looks like he is this awkward, but such a wonderful, wonderful hearted dog. And he is, he's got a crooked face but he is just an, an amazing, messy, messy pup who is looking for the best in life. I'm throwing my lay in the ocean in honor of Hagrid because he's passed over the Rainbow Bridge. Now, growing up on the islands, this is what we would do in remembrance of our loved ones. Now, I know that can be a little bit sad, but I don't think Hagrid would want you to be sad because in spending time with him, you could almost see the appreciation he had for people taking him in and treating him like family and showing him love. And I'll bet if we could ask him, what's one thing that he would want? It would be for you to carry on his spirit by giving back, going to your local shelter and donating, or volunteering, fostering or adopting. And Hagrid, I want to say to you, thank you for reminding me how important it is to live in the moment. 
that what really matters is the love that we show to each other right now.